Just another day in Grand Sainte, a recently arrived family is setting up base in the wood. They're putting up a tent supposed to shelter them from the cold, wind, rain and mud over the next few weeks. Meanwhile, other people attempt to clean the mud off their clothes, wash dishes in the pouring rain, or try to keep warm in makeshift shelters. This is my tent and this is our life. As you can see, there's a lot of garbage here and the rats playing around our tent and go inside and mess with our food. Here, the people take shit and pee around because there are no toilets. They are, you know, mm, full of garbage, uh, bad condition. We cannot use the toilets. Even getting around can be challenging enough. The ground is mired in mud, as are people's clothes. There aren't enough latrines or showers. Piles of rubbish attract rats. And as the temperature drops close to zero, the police stop volunteers from delivering winterized shelters. Right now you see what's happening here. This is not rain, this is ice drops. We have ice drops, we have water like this, deep to your knee. And we have no tents allowed, but some people were able to get some tents for the people to maybe have a dry place. We have not enough food. Only private people are here and two organizations are allowed to do something for the people, to give them food and to give them a warm place and whatever. It is a disaster. There are families and 250 children in Grand Sainte. While conditions here are extremely gruelling for adults, they're actually dangerous for the kids. Médecins Sans Frontières and Médecins du Monde are on hand to provide medical care to the migrants. La plupart des patients que nous voyons ont des problèmes infectieux liés au froid en fait. Hein. Donc, euh, donc on essaye de les traiter, on essaye de les accompagner euh, du mieux qu'on peut. Mais malheureusement, comme les conditions euh, de vie sont, euh, ne changent pas, euh, malheureusement, euh, la toux persiste, les gens voilà, sont, sont malades, sont fatigués. Added to this are dental problems, treatment for chronic diseases and injuries sustained by the migrants on their way here. On fait ce qu'on peut, mais on n'arrivera jamais à apporter ce niveau d'humanité et de dignité pour ces gens tant que le gouvernement ne nous appuiera pas, n'appuiera pas ces, les migrants directement. On the 11th of January, MSF finally got the go-ahead to start work on a new site. A month from now, 2,500 people will be provided with decent accommodation.